Hey, Dion here again with Hideaway Doors. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up and program our keypad maglock system. Okay, before we get wiring up our system, I just want to go over a few things. One, in the manual on page 12 at the top is the diagram of how this hooks up. Two, there is two pink wires on your keypad. Your first pink wire and they're both labeled bell. So your first pink wire is going to hook up to your yellow on your doorbell and then your second pink wire will hook up to your green on the doorbell. And then you will not have to use the white, blue, or green from your keypad. So I just tuck them out of the way. And last, your push to exit button will come with two commons. A common one and a common two. You're going to use your first common, common one. So I went ahead and tied and you won't need your white wire, so I went ahead and tied the, 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 the common two and the white wire out of the way. So I'll tuck that. Okay, so now we're ready to start wiring. Alright, let's get started. Before we start wiring things up, you always want to make sure your power supply is unplugged. And this way when you're hooking up, you don't arc anything and possibly fry anything. Now your power supply is going to come with a factory end. You're going to take your wire strippers and you're going to cut that factory end off and expose your positive and negative which is red and black. Red is positive, black is negative. We have another power supply that we sell with our kits and it does the same exact thing, hooks up to everything. The only difference is it has two black wires and one of them has white stripes on it and that will be your positive and then the plain black one will be your negative. Another thing is the big magnet is for the bookcase doors and the small mini mag is for your mirror doors. These both hook up exactly the same, just one's bigger. So you got a positive, I went ahead and put a jumper wire in here just to make this video a little easier to hook up. Um, and you'll have a positive wire and a negative wire. And this little terminal in here, it says V positive and V negative. So on your little mini mag, your red is positive and your black is negative. So this will hook up, this mini mag will hook up exactly the same as the big magnet. Alright, we're going to go ahead and hook up all the positives. So this is the positive from the mag lock. The red wire is the positive from the power supply. So let's go ahead and hook them two together. We'll grab our red wire which is the positive from the push to exit button we'll go ahead and hook that up we'll grab our red wire from our keypad hook that up Then we'll grab our red wire from our doorbell. Hook that up. Okay, there's all our positives. All our red wires from our power supply, our mag lock, keypad, and push button. All the positives hooked up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hook up all our negatives, which is the black wires. So on the keypad, 
your purple wire will get hooked to your black wire, your common, your purple is your common. So let's go ahead and hook that up to the negative on the power supply, the black wire. So once again, from your keypad, purple and black go to the negative on the power supply. And on your push button, it'll be the green and the black. On the push button, the green is the common. So you hook them together, and let's hook that up to the negative, the black wire from the power supply. Now we'll hook up the negative from the doorbell, the black wire to the power supply negative. Okay, now the negative from the mag lock is going to hook to the orange wire from the keypad. So the negative from the mag lock to the orange wire on the keypad. Okay, we have all our negatives hooked up. Let's go ahead and hook up two yellow wires. You're going to take the yellow from the push to exit button and hook it to the yellow from the keypad. So yellow to yellow, keypad to push button. All right. We'll get our pink wires here. Now earlier in the video I talked about bell 1 and bell 2 and I went ahead and put a piece of tape around my bell 1. So your bell 1 is going to go to your yellow wire and then your bell 2, the other pink wire, is going to go to the green wire on the doorbell. So bell 1 to the yellow of the doorbell, bell 2 to the green of the doorbell. Okay, we're all hooked up. Let's test it. Alright, let's go ahead and plug it in. Uh, you'll hear the magnet and all kinds of great little noises. The doorbell, the push button. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Go ahead and test our push button. All right, the magnet release, it'll lock back. We'll test our doorbell. All right, so far everything's perfect. Now is the programming stage. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and program the key card and key fob. You will get 10 of each of these. 10 key cards and 10 key fobs with this kit. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to press star, nine, six times, pound, and 11, and then re card, re key fob, and then pound, star, star, or until you get the red blinking again. So let's go ahead. We'll hit star, nine, six times, pound 11 it'll go solid green you're gonna read the card let's read the key fob then you're gonna hit pound star we're blinking so we should be good to go all right there we go the magnet release it'll lock back all right let's try the key fob there we go, it released as well. 
Okay, and that's how you program your card and your key file. Okay, now that we've uh, programmed our key card and our key file, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to enter a pin number. So you're gonna hit star nine, six times. Pound, 11, and then a user ID. For this, I'm gonna pick three, so I'll hit 003, pound, and I'm gonna pick 2468 as a code. Pound, star, star. So there it goes, it's programmed. So let's hit 2468 pound, and that should unlock the magnet. It unlocked, it'll lock back. We'll test it one more time. All right. And that's how you program a pin. Okay, we went ahead and programmed everything. Now I'm gonna show you how to delete it. So to delete the key card and key fob, you're gonna hit pound nine, six times, pound, now 12, it'll go green, you're going to read card, read the key fob, and then hit pound, star, now it should be deleted, that one's good, it's not letting us unlock the magnet. There we go, that one's deleted and it's not letting us unlock the magnet. Now I'll show you how to delete the pin code. So you're gonna do basically the same thing. You're gonna hit star nine, six times. Pound. You're gonna hit 12. Now you're gonna hit the user ID, which is three. So zero, zero, three. Then you're gonna hit pound, star, star. So now let's try that code that we did before, the two, four, six, eight. And access denied. And that's how you delete. All right, so there's one last thing to do. Your keypad comes with a default master code, which is the nine that you press six times. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change that to a code of your choice between six to eight digits. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, um, it'll, it'll flash green with the default code. So I'm gonna hit star, nine, six times, pound, and flash green. Now we're gonna hit zero, zero. It'll go solid green. So now we're gonna hit the code we want. So I'm gonna hit one, two, three, four, four, five, six, pound. Do it again, one, two, three, four, five, six, pound, star. So now I've just changed the default master code that comes with it to a code of my choice. So we'll go ahead and test it. I'm gonna just see if I can see that green flash. So I'm gonna hit star, my code, and then pound, and there it goes. So that means we're all good. And then just to get out of that, you can hit star and that's how you change your master default code. All right, so this completes our hookup and programming of our keypad, push button, doorbell, maglock system. I hope this video was a big help and thanks for watching.